Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Charlotte Ashmon. Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything educational and inspirational. Now tonight we are here helping students to prep for the PEP exams. Specifically, we'll be helping students to prepare for the ability test. And we have some special guests in the studio. We have Aaliyah Stanbury, we have Natasha Davis, Rihanna Underhill, Ajanim, and Ajanim Marriott. So I'm gonna ask all my guests to just go ahead and introduce themselves. We're gonna start with Aaliyah Stanbury. So go ahead, Aaliyah, and take it away. Hi, my name is Aaliyah and I'm 10 years old and I am in five grade and I am going to Dunnerbin Primary School and I'll soon be 11 in Ju at June 5th. All right. Thank you, Aaliyah. We're going to move now to Natasha Davis. We're going to go to Natasha. Baby, you're in Jamaica. My name is Natasha. Oh, hold on, Natasha. Hold on. Let me give you solar screen. Go ahead now, Natasha. Good evening, Jamaica. My name is Natasha Davis. I attend Alpha Primary School. I would like to become the Minister of Finance when I grow up. Wow. I am 11 years old. My, feet, my, birth of, my date of birth is March 14th. All right. Welcome, Natasha. All right. So now we're going to go to Rihanna. Take it away, Rihanna. Good night, Jamaica. My name is Rihanna Underhill. I am 11 years old. November, I am 12. I go to the Moxie Park Primary School. I want to be a soldier when I, I grow up. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to go to Ajani. Hold on, Ajani. Let me get you in the stream. Ajani. Take it away, Ajani. Hi, I'm Ajani Marriott. I'm in grade four at Jim Alvernia Prep. All right. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Ajani. All right, did we get everybody? Natasha, did we get Natasha? Yes, Rihanna, yes, Ajani, yes, Aaliyah? Yes, All yes. right, great. Yes, All right, guys. So tonight, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at a very important concept um, that is that will help students to do well on the ability test, and that is homophones, right? That is a real good way to um, work on your critical thinking skills. So I'm going to log right into the Learning Hub website, and what we're going to be, you will be presented with a passage and I want us to find all the misused homophones, all right? So guys, I am going to be choosing, you know, I guess to find the misused homophones. And we're also gonna be reading our comments on Facebook, Facebook to hear what you guys are thinking, okay? So let's go. All right, so there's our passage and let's go ahead and see what it says. It says, read the passage, hold on a second. It says, read the passage and use context clues to correct false or misused homophones. All right. So uh, we, we have a really nice passage on our screen. And there are some words that should not be there. They are misused. So we want to see if uh, my guests can find these misused homophones. So we're going to start with. We're gonna start, and this is just one of many passages that's on this particular page. So we're gonna start with, uh, let's see. Let's start off with Aaliyah. Let's start with Aaliyah. So Aaliyah, I'm gonna just give you solo layout. Go ahead, Aaliyah, and tell us. Tell us, Aaliyah. Go ahead, Aliyah, and tell yes, us. I didn't hear the question. Can you be? Can you right. please? There we have the question on the screen. So, Ali, I wanted to give you solo layout, but I rather put the question on the screen. So, go ahead and tell us which word is misused. Which is the first misused homophone? 
Miss Mummy, Mummy. All right. So, guys, so Alia, you're saying Mummy, right? So, the sentence read Yesterday, my Mummy allowed me to go to the supermarket with her. All right. So, Alia, you're saying it is Mummy, right? Now, why are you saying that it is mummy? Or why, why do you think mummy is used incorrectly? You're going to have to tell me why. Miss, it is used incorrectly because most people don't pronounce it as the right word, mummy. Most people pronounce it as mummy. Right. But what does mummy mean? M-U-M-M-Y. Anybody want to take that? Do you know, Alia, what mummy means? M-U-M-M-Y? No, uh, miss. All right. Anybody wants to take that? Natasha, Rihanna, Johnny. Anybody knows what mummy means? Why should it be M-O-M-M-Y and not M-U-M-M-Y? Let's hear what our Facebook um, guests are saying. Why is it M-O-M-M-Y and not M-U-M-M-Y? M Y. Let's see if anybody is gonna help us. Shanique, go ahead, go ahead, guys, go ahead and tell us what you think M U M M Y means. I'm going to be reading your answers, and if I see the correct answer, I'm gonna be posting it. So I want my Facebook persons to help us out. What does M U M M Y mean? Go ahead, Dejane. What is M U M M Y? Ah, so Dejane says Egyptian mummy. Okay, that is that is correct. But give me a definition. Explain to me. Means I would like to help. Oh, who is that? Natasha. All right, Natasha, let me get you and um, give you full screen. Natasha. All right. Tell us why you think um, Aaliyah is correct and it's M-O-M-M-Y and not M-U-M-M-Y. The correctly word is M-O-M-M-Y and the incorrect word is M-U-M-M-Y because mummy is a body of a human being or animal that has been okay yeah it's a dead body that has been wrapped and they used to do this back in the days in ancient e egypt very good guys all right so let's move on to ah oh, so we have our friends on facebook that is that's just giving us some answers because they love to help you know so jada said mummy is wrapped up um uh, raquel is saying it's a dead body from egypt deceased um Dejane is saying, let me just put Dejane's answer. A mummy is a dead human or animal whose soft tissues and organs have been preserved or removed, rather. Um, Jeanette is saying that um, a body of a human being or animal ceremonially preserved by removal uh, of the organs. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Facebook is really helping us out. Cool. All right. So, let us move on to Natasha Davis. So, Natasha, the next question is yours. We want you to tell us. Um, what is the, the, the next um, word that we should correct? After mommy, what is the next word that we should correct? I'm not seeing your screen. Sorry about that. Go the ahead. next word should be correct is allowed. She's all right alone. but i think it is a l o u d why are you telling me that that dr ashman is wrong why am i wrong it's supposed to be a l o u d why are you saying it is not a l o u d what should it be a l l o w the incorrect would be allowed because it means not silent ah okay very good very good all right so who is next let us see. Um, let's go with um, Ajani. You want to tell us which word is next that we should eliminate? Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, Ajani, you're saying we should eliminate T W O. Yes, miss. Why? 
I think it should be T W O. What should go there in your mind? T O O. T O. Yes, T O. And Jamaica, Ajani is just ten. He's just so intelligent. I mean, well, Ajani is in grade four. I'm assuming that he's ten. Ajani, how old are you? Nine. Wow! Can you believe that, guys? And he's doing grade six stuff. Awesome. All right. So, Ajani, you're saying T W O should be replaced by T O. Very good. T W O should be replaced by T O. All right. Let's see. Um, let's go to Rihanna. Rihanna, which word, which is our next word that we want to replace? Miss, the next word we should be replacing is two. Two. Why? But I think two is right. I wrote this passage. Why should we replace two? With what? Miss, it should be replaced with two. Two miss because it's not two miss you go to the supermarket, not to the supermarket. Miss. All right, so you're thinking it's two, and that is correct, it should be to the supermarket. All right, with her. All right, so the next sentence reads I was excited to buy some snacks for my pool party tomorrow. So let's see, I was excited. Um, let's see who is gonna help us with that. All right, so let's go with Aaliyah. Aaliyah, what's the next word that we want to remove? Miss, where were we? We're, we're at sentence number two where we're saying, I was excited to buy some snacks for my pool party tomorrow. Miss, I... Okay, I think it's E-Y-E. -E. Why are you saying that we're going to replace I? What are we replacing it with? Miss, you're replacing with um, the noun I. Uh, the noun I? So you're saying that we're replacing I, E-W-E-Y-E, -E, and we're replacing that with I, the word I. Yes, miss. All right, now I hear you say noun I, and I'm going to ask my friends on Facebook. Um, Aliyah is saying I is a noun, and um, I don't think I agree with that. Um, guys, what do you think? Do you think I is a noun? She's correct in saying that word to replace it with the word I, uh, but what is I, guys? What is I? What is I? The letter I, the word I. What does it mean? What is it? So Aliyah is saying it's a noun and I'm disagreeing with Aliyah. So guys, tell me, what do you think I is? Is Aliyah correct? Ah, so I see Megan Angus saying that I is a pronoun. Yes, I is a pronoun. And it's really it's used true. to refer, yes? Yeah. Miss, I is a pronoun or a common noun? Yes, I is a pronoun. And so, I is a pronoun or a common pronoun? Okay, who is next? Are we going to take Natasha? Natasha, would you like yes. to answer the next? Um, would you like to tell us which word we should replace? Yes, Auntie. The Go next on. word, the next word would be by. B Y E is used incorrect, and the correct spelling would be B U Y. Wow. So let me ask you this now. I hope I'm not putting you on the spot. But what does B-Y-E mean? Because Dr. Ashman is saying it is B-Y-E. I think it's B-Y-E. Why should I go with you um, with B-U-Y instead of B-Y-E? Because B-Y-E is telling you to buy. Okay, so what is that? Mm -hmm. so, hold, hold on, Natasha. 
So you're saying that BYE is telling me goodbye. Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. And what is BUY? BUY is when you purchase something. Okay. So if she's going to the supermarket, it must be that she's going to be you why something you see why homophones are really great for developing critical thinking skills really awesome tool all right now so i was excited to buy um some snacks for my pool party tomorrow who is next let me see who i am supposed to be calling on um so we did natasha so we're going to go to is it ajani ajani is it your turn now go ahead ajani Aisle. What's the next word? This aisle. Aisle. Okay, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. For my purpose, we walk. Okay, so we walked down the snack aisle and got a lot of chips, cookies, candies, and chocolates. Okay, Ajani. Okay, tell Jamaica why you're saying I S L E is wrong. Tell us. And what should we put there? Um, is... I agree with you that ours is wrong. A I S L E. Yes, Ajani. Now, now Jamaica. This is what my grade four student is doing, taking on grade six work. So it's A I S L E. All right, Ajani. I'm gonna hear what. Facebook is saying in regards to um, why we're going to replace I-S-L-E with A-I-S-L-E. Let's put up some of their answers. All right. So Raquel is saying we should renew to IELTS. But why, guys? Remember now, um, in my class, you have to tell me why I am doing it. Why are you saying that we should do this? Ah, so Megan, you're saying that bye is when you're telling someone bye or farewell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, B-Y-E. All right, come on, guys, tell me, why do you agree with Ajani that we are going to replace I-S-L-E with A-I-S-L-E? Come on, guys. Yeah, you, you guys are all saying the same thing that Ajani said. Okay, so let us see what um, Fang Chan Moore Taylor said. So I-S-L-E is like an island. A-I-S-L-E is a corridor. Okay, cool. Uh, Megan is also saying Isles is, is an archipelago. Okay, cool. A-I-S-L-E is a hallway. God promised brown. Nice. Okay, guys. Awesome. I-S-L-E is an island. Rosemary McKenzie. Um, Rosemary, you're supposed to be here next class with us. Okay, co-hosting. So we need to talk about that. Um, Raquel Russell says... Isles is uh, because Isles is a row in a supermarket. Okay, you guys on Facebook are just too bright. All right, awesome. So we're going to go to Rihanna on the hill now. That's your time, Rihanna. Come on, tell us which word are we going to replace? So we walked down the snack aisles and got a lot of chips cookies, candy, and chocolate. Uh, while I was choosing the snacks, Mumi went to the meat freezer for chicken and rib ice steaks. Miss, we're going to change. Okay, what should we replace now? Miss nothing. All right, so find the next one. Find the next one. Uh, you can go in the next sentence if you want. Miss Mummy. You're going to change Mummy. So we're going to change Mummy to what? Mummy must be changed to Mummy. Okay, so we're going to change Mummy to Mummy. Agreed. All right, so while I was cho Miss choosing the snacks. I don't want that to no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Rihanna. Next person is Natasha. Mommy. <laughs> it's Natasha's turn. Go ahead, Natasha. So you're right with Mumi. So while I was choosing the snacks, 
Mommy went to the meat freezer. Okay, what's the next one, Natasha? Not hearing you. Correct, Oma. The next incorrect Oma for will be T W O because T W O is the number. So the correct one will be T O O. Oh. Mm -mm. Look at this again. Okay. While I was choosing the snacks, Mummy went. So you're saying we're supposed to replace T W O with T O O? With T O O. T O. T O. Very good. Now, um, who is who is asking a question? All right. So we're gonna go back now to um Aaliyah. So, Aliyah, it's your turn again. All right, let's hear what Facebook is saying. Facebook, you've gone to Farman. So, Unique, you're saying replace um, two. Yeah, we did that. Um, Dejane, you're saying replace two. Um, yeah, you guys are so smart. Okay, so I see you are going ahead of us. So, um, I'm not going to read any more from Facebook right now. Okay, so we've replaced two. Uh, so while I was choosing the snacks, Mumi went to the meat freezer for chicken and ribeye steaks. All right, so it's Aaliyah, your turn. Miss four. All right, what? But I think it's F O U R. What should I change it to? Miss, you should change it to F O R. But why isn't it not F O U R? Why not? Miss, because miss, because that's the number ah, four. Ah, very good, very good. So it should be four. Okay, cool. I like that. You guys are on top of things. All right. So for chicken and rib eye sticks. No, I know, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go down to Rihanna Underhill. What's the next one? Miss, the next one is. Miss, the next one is meat because she missed it. Meat, miss, meat is the incorrect. It should be M E A T because ah, meat is that meat. is true. That is so true. See here, M E E T. Right, that's a good catch. Right, so it's the meat freezer. M E A T. A -T. Very good. Very good. All right. And the reason why that. Miss, miss Rihanna under ill miss the reason why it is M E. Hold on, hold on Rihanna. Let me let me put you up front and center. Hold on, Rihanna. Hold on. <laughs> All right, hold on, Rihanna. I wanna put you. I wanna put you up front. I'm not seeing that option. All right. Uh let's go this way. Okay, Rihanna, are you there? Yes, Miss, I'm there. All right, go ahead and explain to us why you're saying that. Uh, you were you're explaining about me, was that it? Yes, Miss, I was oh, saying. The reason why it's M-E-A-T, Miss, the reason why it's M-E-A-T, Miss, M-E-T-E -E means the meat that you cook or you eat, and the M-E-E-T, -E Tea is the meat that like when you meet in someone for the first time. Okay. Not necessarily for the first time, but I see what you're saying. Very good. Yeah. All right. So who is next? Uh Natasha. Mrs. Yeah. Ajani. Ajani did get a try. All right. Ajani, I skipped over you. All right, Ajani, take it away from me. Sorry. You find the next one, Ajani? Or just tell me anyone that you think shouldn't be there. Steak. All right, let me see that one. Where is that? So while I was choosing the snacks, Mumi went to the meat freezer for chicken and ribeye steaks. So you're saying steaks? Excuse me, saying, I'm not seeing the screen. Uh, okay. Are you seeing now, guys? 
Yes, yes ma'am. miss. Awesome. Yes, All right. Miss. So, Ajani, you were saying, tell me the one you were saying, Ajani. Steak. All right. So, um, S T A K E S. So, Ajani, why are you saying that we should replace steaks? Why isn't that used correctly? Because it means this S T E A K. All right, so you're saying we should replace steak S T A K E with S T E A K. Johnny, I think I agree with you because S T E A K that's you're talking about meat. And then you're talking about S-T-A-K-E. Facebook, what is that? Come on, Facebook. I want you to tell me. Why, what is S-T-A-K-E? Steak. All right. I don't see anybody on Facebook. What? Facebook persons, they don't know steak. All right. Come on, guys. All right. Uh, yeah, I see you saying S-T-E-A-K. Ah, steak is a post. S T A K E, that's a post. And S T A K, that's the meat. All right, cool. Awesome. Yes, Rosemary, Miss Mackenzie saying that steak is a pole. Um, and S T E A K is a meat. I'm just so amazed that a journey at grade four is able to take on the grade six work. All right, so Natasha, it's your turn. Go, oh, we missed one. Yeah. Natasha, go ahead and tell me the one that we missed. The incorrect form of one is four. F O U R. It should be F O R. Very good. Uh huh. Good. All right. So we start over and we go to Al Alia. What's the next one? Miss Meat. Um, where is Meat? Miss Meat section. All right, hold on a second. When I was meeting her by the Meat section. Miss okay. All right. Um. Sorry. Go ahead, Alia. When I was meeting her by the. And I had to go back to do the meat for her. All right, hold on a second, guys. Aaliyah is on the floor, so go ahead, Aaliyah. Miss Meat, it's supposed to be M E A T. All right, so it's, it should be M E A T. All right, so M E A T instead of M E E T. I think we did that, but yeah, you're correct. That is uh, that's misplaced. But hold on, I want to point out something. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but rib eye is also used incorrectly. Let me show you something, guys. Excuse I hope me. you're seeing my screen. Um, rib eye, that's a type of steak. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but anyway, since it's there and it's not used properly, I'm going to point it out. So it should be R-I-B-E-Y-E. -E. That's what it should be. R I B. -E E Y E. So ribeye is me. incorrectly. One second, guys. Remember, you can't um, interrupt when I am um, doing the explanation. All right. Who would like to go? Me, Miss. Miss, uh, um, I realized it, but then I was going to answer, so I didn't say. Okay. Oh, so you noticed it. All right. Awesome. Okay. All right, so let's go. All right, let's take the next one. So when I was meeting her by the meat section, I saw one of my friends who was coming to my party. So whose turn is it now? Is it Natasha or Aliyah? Miss Natasha. All I right, go ahead, Natasha. The incorrect homophone will be W O N. The correct homophone is O N E. All right. So you're saying that the incorrect homophone is W O N. Uh, I saw one of my friends, but I think it's W O N. 
So, um, Natasha, why are you saying that W O N is incorrect? Why? I don't understand. Why are you saying that? Miss, I'm saying that one is the incorrect because one is when you you be successful to a game or a match, while the O N E is the number. Okay. All right. So you're saying that O N E is. Um, what we're looking for because you saw uh, one of your friends, the number one. So you want we want the number one, right? Not 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 um, the past tense of win. Okay, I'll take that. You're correct. All right. So the next person we just did, Natasha. <laughs> the next person is going to be Aaliyah. So let's go to Aaliyah. Take it away, Elia. Um, tell us which word we should remove. Miss two. I saw one of my friends who was coming to my party. But why shouldn't it be? Why shouldn't it be TWO? I think it should be TWO. Why not? Miss, because TWO is the number. Okay. All right. So you want TO. And there's going to be a class now where I'm going to start um, discussing adverbs and prepositions and nouns and so on. Maybe um, one, of, one of these lives, I'm going to do that. Okay. So um, stay tuned, guys. All right. So, yeah. So for this homophone, it's going to be TO and not TWO. Uh, where was that? Where was that? Where? Come right now. Last sentence. So we're gonna take a journey. Um, they were so kind. They helped buy our snacks. It's it's bye. So they were so kind, they helped buy our snacks. So why isn't it B-Y? Why isn't it B-Y? Because B-Y is like you were by someone or... So B, okay, tell me what you, you're, you're replacing with um, um, Ajani. What, what are you replacing um, B-Y with? B-U-Y. B-U-Y. Why are you using B-U-Y? Because it, purchase, it means it purchased something. Yes, because B-U-Y means to purchase something or to, to get something by making some payment. Very good. Right, so it's B U Y. But let me ask you this, guys, on Facebook. I want you to tell us why are we using B U Y? Tell me, um, how do you know that it is B U Y and not B Y? And guys, can you do me a favor? Can you just share our live? So, you know, if you have friends doing um pep, they can join us. I mean, homophones, like I said before, is a great way to develop critical thinking skills, right? So um, if you have friends who are, you know, who will be sitting the PEP ability test, this is a great class for them to join. Okay, so just tell them about it so they can come and join us. I think we're going to go until nine o'clock when we're finished with our homophones. We're going to do something from our ability test workbook, something pretty easy. All right. So tell us, guys, um, why is it B U Y? So, so Ajani already told us it is to purchase something, but I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. It starts with a C, C O N. We're getting all of this from the con. Con what? Anybody who tells me the right thing, I'm going to send them like, you know, maybe like a $2,000. If you can tell me the con, we're getting all of this from the con. Okay, so the two thousand um, dollar offer is gonna expire in like not conjunction <laughs> in like 
five, four, three, two, one. Yes, I see Rosemary McKenzie. Teacher, no, you're not, you're, you're not, you can't, you can't be in it. You're a teacher. Uh -uh. All right, yeah, from the context, right? And that is important. I noticed something with Pep. One of the things that you guys really need to pay attention to is context clues. Yeah. So we can know that it is stakes, S T E A K, and not S T A K E, because of the context. If you're in a supermarket, you can't be buying steaks, S T A K E S. You know, you're not buying a pole in a supermarket. And if you go to the meat section, you're going to buy S T E A K. You're getting that from context clue. So that is really, really, really important, guys. When you're doing stuff like this, your homophones, doing a passage like this, you pay attention to the context. All right. So. So I saw one of my friends who was coming to my party. All right, last, 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 last sentence. These guys are just so awesome. Aaliyah, Ajani, um, Aaliyah, Ajani, Ariana, and Natasha. They took the whole class tonight. I didn't even have to teach. Awesome, guys. All right, so I saw one of my friends who was coming to my party. They were so kind. They helped buy our snacks. I'm excited for my party tomorrow. So we just did, did we just do a layer? Yeah. So is it Ajani's turn? Ajani, is it your turn? Mm -hmm. I think it's your time, Ajani. Do you see any that's not supposed to be there? Miss Miss. Uh-huh. Which one? Four. All right. So you're saying that uh da, 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 I'm saying four. Okay, F-O-R-E. What why are you saying that F-O-R-E is wrong? What what should we replace it with? F-O-R. So you're saying we should replace it with F O R. Very good, Ajani. Now, I want to know. I am so excited for my party tomorrow. All right, very good, guys. Very good. I see Rosemary saying that the internet is giving her trouble and so on and so forth. All right, guys, I'm gonna ask you to. Uh, if you want to go off camera, go get some water and stuff. I am going to um, take a five minutes break with uh, my co-host so they can go and get some water. They can go and um, uh, grab some, grab a snack. And then when we come back, we are going to talk a little bit about some of the questions in this um, book. All right. So guys, if you want to go and grab something quickly, you can do that. All right. So um, my, my students on Facebook, we're going to go up until nine o'clock. If you have this particular workbook, I want you to grab it because we're going to do some work from this book. Okay. So we're going to get ready for PEP regardless of COVID. So we're not paying attention to COVID when it comes to your preparation. All right. So... We're having these sessions. Well, our sessions are supposed to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But, I mean, I notice we're meeting whenever we want. <laughs> so, I, um, I actually set aside time on Tuesdays and Thursdays to do Facebook Live. But now we're doing one on a Friday. And I think I'm going to do another one on a Sunday. So, grab this book for me, guys. Grab this book and come back. Yeah. And let's take it until nine o'clock. So instead of watching TV, we're going to be doing some real work. Okay, we're going to look at a few questions from exercise two. Last time we did exercise one. Okay. So let me just put, pull this book up on screen and we are going to go to exercise two. Now you'll notice that I'm using the Learning Hub website. That's our website, learninghub.online. And I'm actually at the teacher side. So teachers, if you need a great tool to help with your preparation for the PEP exam, this is a great website. And all teachers get access for free until 
the end of 2021. So if you need access to the website, teachers, all you have to do is just to send us an email. Sorry, send us a WhatsApp. Or if you want to send an email, support at learninghub.online and we will give you access to our website. And when you get access to the website, you also get access to a lot of workbooks. So you'll notice that this particular workbook, um, we have it in the interactive format on our website just for teachers, not on the student side, all right? So teachers, if you need this book, if you need this book, you can get it on the teachers section of the learninghub.online and it's totally free, no hidden costs, no gimmicks. Just send us an, a WhatsApp message, um, three, send the message to 351-7777. Let me put that up on our banner. and. Um, that's the WhatsApp number, and you can get access to our website at absolutely zero cost. And I also want persons to know that in the evenings, every single evening from five to six o'clock, we have a, an ability test class. I actually teach um, those classes. And that class um, is $2,000 if you can afford to pay. If you cannot afford to pay, it's zero. So we don't care whether or not you have money. If you can't afford to pay, then you pay. Pay depending on your conscience. If you can't afford to pay, then you send your child to the class on Zoom. And it's every evening from five to six. We also have a social studies class um, helping students to prepare for their curriculum-based test. And that is Mondays and Wednesdays from four to five. Again, that class is 2000 if you can afford to pay and it's zero if you cannot afford to pay. So that's how we're doing it. Because like I said, I personally am committed to helping as many students as I can to get prepared for the PIP exams. All right. So I hope you have grabbed your copy of your PIP practice books if you're on Facebook. And um, we are going to go to exercise two. So let me just pull that book up on screen. Okay. You don't want to choose any answer just now. All right, so like I said before, this particular book is interactive teachers. So you can basically use it. Um, the questions come comes with answers and that kind of thing. So you see the answers, you see the explanation. It's totally, totally, totally interactive. All right, so question number one. Um, if you want to answer, um, my co-host, I'm not going to actually call on you. You can just go ahead and you can raise your hand and let me know that you would like to take that question on. Okay, so Natasha, I see you going. You're saying that you would like to take that on. So um, let me allow you to take that on. Question number one, what's the answer for that? Question number one, which image you place a question mark? I choose A. Okay, all right. So tell me... Um, Tell me, why are you saying it is A? I choose A because the first one, it is rotated. Okay, so it is rotated. Uh -huh. And um, it will be the same thing for the one in green. Okay, because what you're saying to Jamaica is that whatever you do for one rotation, you're going to have to do it to the other one. That's what you're saying? Yes, I'm saying. All right. And let me ask you this, too. Um, do you, can you tell me um, what it is rotated by? How many degrees? Do you know? 90 degrees. Yes, it looks like 90 to me. Uh -huh. All right, let's see the explanation. And we have a video.
you guys. All right, we're gonna skip over question two and I want to move on to, huh? Oh, question number four. I love question number four. Let's see. All right, let's see question number four. All right, who can, oh, you guys, uh, can you guys see the question on Facebook? Tell me if you can see my question, question number four. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, so guys, I want you to take on question number four. Who can, who can take that on? All right, Natasha, you just went. Let's see if somebody else wants to take it on. If not, I'll let you go again. So who would like to take on question number four? If one of my co-hosts would like to take that on, apart from Natasha. Johnny, you think you want to take that on? All right, Johnny, I see Alia wants to take it on as well. So go ahead for me. Let me put the question back on the screen and take Miss, it on, I Johnny. Want to go ahead. Miss, I want to go ahead. We're not on the ale. All right, no, let's let Johnny go ahead. And then the next, let's see if you want to take the next one on, um, Diana. Go ahead, Ajani. The answer is fuel. All right. So you're saying the question says a plane cannot be flown without pilots, passengers, fuel, and airport. I think a plane cannot be flown without passengers. Why am I incorrect, um, Ajani? Can you fly a plane without passengers? Yes, miss. Okay, so you can fly an empty plane, just a, huh? <laughs> and you know you have autopilot now, so yeah, you're so right, you're correct. All right, Ali, I see you um, wanting to go, and Rihanna wanted to go the last time, so let's see, I'm going to pull another question, and let's see who wants to take that on. Natasha went before, and then it was a journey, so let's see who wants to take the next question on. Let's see which question we're going to pull. Oh, I like this one. Let's look at question number six. Let's tackle question number six. This is a nice question. Hold on, guys. Question number six. Let's look at that one. I'm trying to let it take up the screen. Okay. If you guys can see on Facebook, so this is the question. Identify the odd one. Let me see how many persons can identify the odd one. Who wants to take that on? Which one of my co-hosts wants to take that on? So Ajani just went, Natasha went. So it's between Rihanna and Aliyah. Who wants to take it on? Rihanna, you want to take it on? Just put up your hand if you want to take it on. All right, so Rihanna don't want to take that one on. All right, Aliyah, go ahead and take that one on. Miss, it is banana. All right. So you're saying it is banana. Okay. All right. Hold on. I see Rihanna has her hand up. Let me see what Rihanna is saying. Um, go ahead, Rihanna. What are you saying? Miss, I'm saying the answer is banana as well. All right. So we oh. have pepper. Carrot, tomato, banana. All right. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you, um, Aleo. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some answers from Facebook because I want to hear what the Facebook people are saying. So we have the question up on the screen. It says, identify the odd one out. And the, the options we have, we have pepper, carrot, tomato banana pepper carrot tomato banana and and Boda, you said banana so let's hear what facebook is saying shanique Bo is saying banana because it's a fruit let's put up shanique's response so banana because it's a fruit and others are vegetable patricia morgan russell is saying carrots uh god promise brown is saying all the others are fruit, so it's B. Which one is B? So she's saying it's carrot because all the others are fruit. Then, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Sarah Henry Taylor is saying banana. Um, Nikki, Nikki is saying banana. Raquel Russell is saying banana. Dee Dee is saying pepper. 
Nordia Campbell is saying banana. Janet Murphy Parks is saying banana. Grace Surreal is saying nope. You will be shocked. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Lisa is saying carrot. <laughs> um, that's the year, Morrison. Me too. I think it's carrot. The other ones have seeds and carrots. Don't mm, mm, so and so. I can answer something. Um, uh, what's this now? Shash Shashisia. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Is saying banana. Um, Chanoy Francis is saying banana. The rest are vegetables. Um, God Promise Brown is saying carrot. Um, Unique is saying banana. All right, banana is not a vegetable. All right, let's see what the answer is. Let's see what the answer is, guys. Let's see what the answer is. So this is a nice question. You have pepper. You have carrot. You have tomato. You have banana. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Carrot. Mm -hmm. Tomato. Mm -hmm banana let's see let's see what i have for the answer so the answer is carrots each of the words in this question are items that are fruits since carrot is a vegetable option b is the correct answer so pepper is a pe pepper is a fruit tomato is a fruit banana is a fruit yes these are all botanical fruits but carrot is a vegetable. So carrot is actually the answer, all right? So I see a lot of you saying banana, banana, banana. It's actually carrot. All right, let's look at question number nine and we're going to close our lives for tonight. Let's look at question number nine. We're going to go out with question number nine. Let's see who can explain that one. Take a minute, guys, on Facebook. I want to hear your answer and your explanation. And my co-host, I want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm going to take answer from every single person. Yeah, I'm going to give everybody a chance. So I'm going to start from Aaliyah, then Ajani, then Natasha, then Rihanna. So guys, you don't have to um, put your hands up. I'm going to call on you. So that's our last question for tonight. Let's see how you guys handle it. Okay, so let us go to Aaliyah. Aaliyah, what do you think the answer is and why? Miss, I think it's three triangles at the top and five hearts at the bottom. All right, so you're going with D. Yes, Miss. All right. Now, let us see what uh okay so jasmine is going with four two okay i guess is, is that d uh shannon is going with d okay all right so let us see what thank you Aliyah. let's see what ajani is thinking johnny what are you thinking yes. you're thinking d all right so let us see what um let's see what natasha is thinking Miss, I'm thinking D because the first one has seven triangles and one heart. The sixth one is reduced by one triangle and it is increasing by one heart. The, the, the third one is five triangles and three hearts. And then the fourth one is four triangles, four hearts. So the triangle is reducing by one and the heart is added by one. It's so increasing. my answer increasing by one. So my answer is D. Okay, D awesome. And five heart. Thank you, um, Natasha. Awesome. Rihanna, let me hear your opinion. What do you think? Take it away, Rihanna. Miss, miss, my answer is D, miss, because miss, the first one has seven triangles and one heart. The second one has six triangles, two hearts. The third one has five and three hearts, and the fourth one has four and four hearts. So this triangle is reducing while the 
um, the heart is increasing. So the answer would be three triangles and five hearts. All right, thank you guys. So we're gonna just play the explanation and then we're gonna take it out. Miss, what time we're end what time we're ending tonight? So the answer was indeed D. All right, guys, um, you know, time flies when we're having fun. So we're ending now. It's nine o'clock and my co-hosts must go to bed to get their beauty sleeps and to rest their brains. They've been working hard all day. So I just want to say a big thank you to um, Aleo. I want to say a big thank you to my grade four student, Ajani, who have been letting answer grade six questions all the time. I want to say a big thank you to Natasha and of course, Rihanna. Guys, you are welcome to come again to host with me on Pep Talk with Dr. Charlotte Ashman. All right, uh, my Facebook friends, um, thank you so much for joining me tonight and uh, with my co-hosts. And I do look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Goodbye.